Hey everybody, it's Sarah, and welcome to the Create Sweet Adventure YouTube Hop, uh, together with Sweet Girl Designs, which is Christy, and with Create Life Paper Words, that is Tara. We are bringing you a great big hop this weekend. So as you saw there, all of our designs have to include a shaker pocket stitching, watercolors, white space, labels, and layers or clusters, which are the six things um, that we're known for. Me, it is the shaker pocket and stitching, Tara, it is watercolors and white space, and Christy, it is labels, layering, and clustering. So here we go. I am actually doing an event two-page layout. This is not a Project Life week. This is a girls' weekend that we did up in St. Cloud, and I am starting with two white 4 by 6s there, and I mixed up some of my Prima watercolors to get a really pretty light teal color to give that some splatters um, instead of using, like, Heidi Shine that I would probably normally wear or use. And then I grabbed one of my Spiegel Mom scraps, small glassine bags, and I put some of Lucy's Cards grapefruit in there. And I also added just a little bit of iridescent stars from my stash just to give it a little more shake. And then in Christy style here, I'm going to grab some labels and some ephemera and make some clusters and do some layering here. That actually says week, even though it wasn't a week. I liked that kind of corally color. These are all Maggie Holmes bits and pieces. I did end up with two packs of the Gather Ephemera, so I'm still trying to use those up. And I'm also using some of the Dear Lizzie Saturday Ephemera, too. And then there is actually a label from the Scrap Reprintables from many, many months ago. I just still have them saved on my computer, and I printed out myself an extra sheet and cut them out because I was not brave enough to be like Christy and do a print and cut on my silhouette. Even though she has an amazing tutorial, I'm still a little scared of all that. Anyhow, so there are some old Moonlight Thickers from like two Halloweens ago, and I just put 820 because that was the date that we went, was August 20th. And then right next to that is just a full 4 by 6 picture of how beautiful and blue the sky was that day. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. And then I've got some the, of the One Canoe 2 Hazelwood like chipboard thicker kind of scripty words going on there. So I pulled out the Remember This with one of the arrows. And I thought that would look really pretty on just that blue sky 4 by 6 there. Then I'm just adding some enamel dots from my stash, some gold ones, and then I think some older Simple Stories posh ones. And then I like to just add tiny word stickers to my 3x4s. That's my favorite. So I'm just adding some to those. And then I've got another label that I ran through my typewriter. And that one says Milner Heritage Vineyards. That was the name of the vineyard that we went to that day. And we tasted like 18 wines that day. It was really super fun. And I just took up pictures of a few of my favorites. That was a really good white wine. And then on the other side, you'll see a really good red, like, sweet wine that we also tasted. And then there's a couple pieces of ephemera. Those are also from the Dear Lizzie Saturday. And then there is a wood paper clip from, I think, Indigo Hills, that old pink fresh line from last, like, probably September, something like that. And there's another label that I ran through my typewriter. And then I'm just using my good old Tombow Mono Roller Adhesive and Tombow Mono Aqua to get everything glued down nicely. And now I am contemplating what I'm going to do with that little 3x4 that I cut out of the three by or the 6x6 paper pad from Maggie Holmes Gather. So I'm just kind of going through my leftovers from last fall and kind of figure out what I'm going to put on there. And I think I finally decide to lug up my big paper trimmer here in a second because I want to get some of that beautiful specialty paper that Michael's had. It's like a cream and gold wood grain. So I cut out a little three by three of that and to get a little bit more stitching on my page I stitched the top and bottom of the cream and gold wood grain to add a little bit more stitching there. And then I'm going to make just a little floral cluster with the leaves. Oh and my camera died there. So there I figured out my camera died. So there I just made a quick cluster with some bits and pieces left over from the Gather Ephemera. And then that is the gold girl silhouette from the sticker sheet from Gather. I thought that was a good use of that because it was a girls weekend. Here we are now on the right side of the spread. 
I have some more of that teal paint that I mixed up from my new Prima watercolors. That was actually the classic pack. I used some blue, some green, and some white, and I came up with the most amazing teal color. So here I'm just dabbing it so it doesn't stay super wet and get other things that I want to put on there wet. So there is another tag that I cut out and ran through my typewriter. And I'm adding some more tiny word stickers to my 3x4s. Getting them on straight there. It's hard to tell when you're sitting down and back away because you don't want to get your head under the camera. Now this is kind of a bigger piece of ephemera from the gather pack and I didn't realize that it was bigger than 3x4. So there I just used a 3x4 picture to cut it down to size because I didn't want to see the swan on there because that is like a ledger book and that kind of reminds me of school. So here I'm just trying to figure out how I can make happy show and what I typed on that long label show. So there I just decided to layer it like that because I wanted to be able to at least read happy on there. And that was we went out for lunch and then we spent all afternoon at the vineyard and then we went back into St. Cloud later that night um, to have some drinks and some dinner and play some darts at one of our old sports bars that we used to hang out at in college. It was really fun. So here is the very last of that teal paint that I mixed up and I just splattered it diagonally across that 3x4 filler card and added a few enamel dots. And now I am going to run that 4x6 card that I made through my sewing machine twice just to add a little bit of stitching on there because that is part of the challenge. And now I've got that 3x4 horizontal picture of lunch. We ate at a really fun new place up in St. Cloud and I won't remember what it's called until I put the label on, on the picture there because it had kind of a long name. So that is a Maggie Holmes tag and a Saturday rail pass piece of ephemera, which doesn't make sense in my life because I don't live anywhere really near a train. There is a light rail in Minneapolis that we like never take. And there is a gather tassel on kind of a big gold paper clip. The Boulder Tap House, that was the name of the restaurant. It was delicious. So now I'm just trying to figure out my last few bits to stick on that. I was kind of running low on the florals at this point, but that was a black and white rose and that, that was good enough for me. Now here is a 4x6 Becky Higgins Fuse brand flip pocket that's meant to hold like 4x6 pictures, but as you guys know, I like to fill them with sequins. So here I am, I put about a third of a bag of Lucy's Cards Grapefruit in there, and then I added a few more iridescent stars for my stash because there were some kind of larger iridescent stars in there, so more iridescent stars kind of made sense. Now I'm just going to add that Enjoy from the One Canoe Two Hazelwood Thicker Pack, and then I'm going to put a tiny word sticker on there too that's going to say With All My Heart, so it says Enjoy With All My Heart. So that is it, ladies. I hope you are having a fabulous National Scrapbooking Day weekend. I hope you have some time to get creative and watch a lot of hops and have a lot of fun. I hope you have liked my layout for you guys today. Don't forget to hop over to Sweet Girl Designs and Create Life Paper Words so you can watch all three of ours. I will link both of their channels in the down bar. And happy National Scrapbooking Weekend, everybody. Have a great day.